Hello, Egyptology lovers. So today we're going to do a translation of a stella uh, located at Karnak. This photo was provided by, as you can see on top of here, Alexandria Magna. Uh, Magna. Uh, she is a archaeologist and involved in pretty much the Egyptological discipline. So uh, today the stella is referring to Seti II. Uh, here you have Seti on both sides of the stella and he's giving offering to a moon on both sides. So everything's pretty much mirrored, just the gifts are a little bit different. Here he's offering some um, some fire or incense, and here he's offering a little bit of oils. So down here, uh, let me show you. So what I've done with this is I've done a translation, I've divided the text, so let me show you what it looks like once I move it over. So just switching over here like so, you could see the translation has been done. Over here, if you're walking and you see this piece, all you'll see is a repeated name of the personal name of Seti, which is Seti Beloved of Ta. And here you have uh, the throne name, which means the uh, mighty are the manifestations of Ra. And here you have the Beloved of Amun. And that just repeats. It just, uh, the pairs repeat several times. And that's pretty much it. But the most important part is the body of the text. What it contains is the five names of the pharaoh. Every pharaoh had five names. And over here you have the first one, which is the Serak name, or known as the Horus name. So here it means the living Horus, or Re Horakti, the mighty bull, the beloved of Ra. Then you have the second name, which is the Nepti name, the two sisters, the protectresses of Upper and Lower Egypt. You have Nechbet and Wajet, the vulture and the cobra. And here it means the protector of Egypt, or Kemet. Then over here it says the one who subdues the foreign lands. Then you come to the third name, which is the Golden Horus name. Here it says great of victories in all the lands. And then you come to the throne name, which you've seen over here. That's the throne name. Here it is the king of Upper and Lower Egypt, Egypt, which is the Sej NB or Nesubiti, is how we say it in ancient Egyptian. He is the lord of the two lands, and again, Usr Keperure Meri Imen or Amun, and this is mighty of the manifestations of Ra, beloved of Amun. Then you come to the personal name, which is over here, and it means Sare, son of Re, lord of appearances, or some people say diadems. And then you have Seti, beloved of Ta. Then you come to the last parts of, these are the titles, and then you come to what the offerings and what is being given. So you have he who has made the monuments for his father, Amun-Ra, who is the king of the gods, who is foremost of ipet -hut. This is referring to Karnak. That's the ancient name of Karnak, which is ipet -hut. Then we come to another section here. It says, like he who has claimed a conquest for the south and of the conquests or conquering or defeating of the north. And then once again, the title repeats. The, the, uh, the same one is up there. The king of Upper and Lower Egypt, the lord of the two lands. You get the throne name again. Usr Keperure. Meri Amun, which means mighty are the manifestations of Ra, beloved of Amun, again the son of Re, the lord of the diadems or appearances, Seti, beloved of Ta. You come down to the very bottom here and it, all it says is given life and then stability, I'm not stability, but dominion and power like Re forever and eternity, the beloved of Amun Ra, who is in the midst of Thebes or Waset. Thebes. And that's the translation uh, to the uh, Stella of Limestone here belonging to Seti II. If you pass by it in the Karnak, uh, by all means stop and read it and watch this video and you'll enjoy seeing translating it for yourself. So thanks for watching once more. Leave comments and questions if you have anything that you want to say or want to learn about. I'm happy to reply back to everybody. Uh, have a great day and thanks again for watching.